Hakanashi is a form of candlesticks that belongs to a family with the goal of eliminating the noise from the original candlesticks. So in this video, I will describe how it is calculated, how the indicator is plotted, what other forms of Hakan Ash we have, and how can we build a profitable strategy using our own logic or using a data mining package. Welcome back traders. Thank you for joining me, Ali Casey here from Statewaste channel. So today's video is about Hakan Ashi. So first let's describe how can we calculate Hakan Ashi and how can we see it on the chart? Okay, so to calculate Hakan Ashi, uh, if, if this is the regular bar, so imagine this, the regular candlestick bar, and being green, that means this is an up bar, meaning the close is higher than the open. And of course, this is the high and this is the low. So to calculate Hakan Ashi bar today, the open of today is the open plus the close divided by two. These open and close is from yesterday. So that means Hakan Ashi open will always sit in the middle of yesterday's body. And then today's close is today's open plus close plus high plus low divided by four. And then today's high is today's high and today's low is today's low. So the only difference is we're averaging the close of today of the four points and we are linking yesterday's close and yesterday's open to today's bar and that's why it will always be in the middle of yesterday's body okay so now that we know uh, how it is calculated let's see how it is plotted and what's the difference that we can see on the chart so this is a apple stock daily chart and on the left here is the normal Japanese candlesticks where a green bar is up day and red bar is a down day. And on the right here, you can see this is the Haiken Ashi representation of exactly the same uh, data on the left. The differences we can uh, determine right away is, first of all, there is no skip of any bars. So usually in like Renko bars or range bars, you will have different representations between the high and the low. Here in Haikan Ashi, we will not a different high and low per bar. So for example, if you pick, uh, for example, this is July 19. So the low on July 19 was 141.67. And here, for example, July 19, the low is 141.67. So you see the high and the low will always be the same but of course we are changing the close because now we're averaging the close and we're changing the open because the open is the middle of the last bar and that's why you clearly can see trends uh, long and short okay so we we notice here that the uptrend usually is accompanied by big bodies with upper wicks so you can see most of these guys have upper wicks and also we notice that usually they have bigger bodies and when we see a doji bar which has a wick up and down usually it's either we are posing for example here also or we are changing direction so we can see it here also so when we see a doji pattern be developing it's either changing direction or we are consolidating so for example here and here and also we can see lately now so we have we can say that these two are doji pattern and it looks like we're consol consolidating but now that we have these green bars, so for example, this is Apple, and if Apple gonna continue this trend, then next bar should be a big body green bar with an upper wick. That's gonna confirm that this trend up is gonna continue. Great, so now we understand how Haikan Ashi works. I mean, we've read about it, we've seen it, especially in SQX, you cannot see the chart actually. So, but now you understand how it works. So now we can build some strategies. So first thing come to mind is a breakout strategy 
is basically when the body is big with an upper wick and a breakdown strategy is the opposite. Also, a reversal in the trend is usually with some dojis. Either in a downtrend, we see a doji and then we flip on the other side or the opposite. But also let me show you something else that another indicator is available on Heiken Ashi that re can represent Heiken Ashi in a different way. Just a reminder, if you are new to this channel, Stat Oasis channel is all about algorithmic trading, building robust trading strategies and portfolios. Basically, we want to find uh, several ways to make money in the financial market so we can grow our account, grow our wealth. So if you are new, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and always, always, always smash the like button so Google Algos can push it to newer traders like you. And for everybody else, thank you for subscribing. Now let's get back. So also we have something called a smooth hack and ashy. And basically it's a smoothing average of the already averaged hack and ashy. And of course you can see it, it looks beautiful because <laughs> you think you're going to make million dollars with this. But really, first of all, you should notice that this is delayed, first of all, because we're having a double average. But again, it gives us a clear way to spot trend. And same thing uh, is uh, involved. We see the upper trend with upper wicks and downtrend usually with longer wicks on the downside. And we can see it's extremely smooth. Now, this indicator is not available everywhere. But by the way, this indicator is just double smooth. So you're, you're smoothing 10 day moving average and another one. So theoretically you should duplicate this with a double moving average or a double exponential moving average in case you don't have this in your platform. So uh, let's see if we can do that. So this is the double moving average and we can see it's it's very closely matches. Now, forget that it is not in the same place, but look at the turns. So usually the turns happen almost at the same time. We can see we turned here. And this is a turn also. This is a turn. Sometimes we were ahead of it. Sometimes we were a little bit behind. For example, here we are a little behind. And if you don't have the uh, dual uh, exponential moving average, you can just do the exponential moving average. And again, we see it also matches it. Again, look at the turns. So basically, that's what it is. Now, it looks much better and smoother uh, than the single. So if you have it, it's, uh, it will be smoother. If you don't have it, you can replicate it with a, an EMA. In this case, this is a EMA of 23 periods. And if you have the dual moving average, dual exponential moving average is the 33 period. So the orange one is the double exponential moving average with the 33 periods. And the blue line is the exponential moving average with the 23 period. So as you can see, the smoothing also gives it another push. So what the advantage of that is going to keep you uh, longer in a long trend so if you're doing long trend following then this will keep you in the trend longer because you don't see the noise uh, of the candlesticks because you know candlesticks doesn't matter how big is the trend it will always have pullbacks and here you don't see the pullbacks at all so to you it's a green bar every day until actually the trend is exhausted and then you exit Okay, so now let's try to build some strategies using the knowledge we just accumulated. So this is Strategy Quant X, and I loaded here Apple daily. So this should be okay. And we do 100 shares. Okay, so what are these blocks? So I created custom blocks. First one is Hacken Ashi Green Doji. That means, so a green doji will look something like this where the body is less than 30% of the range. And of course, a red doji is same thing. The body is less than 30% of the range, but it is a down bar. So that's block number one. Of course, these are available already in uh, Strategy Quantex, the Haken Ashi close, open, high and low. And then I developed another block, which is this kind of block 
where the body is more than 60% of the range and green is up and red is down. So this would be a Haken Ashi body greater than uh, the previous one. So basically I'm looking for momentum or breakout. So first let's test this strategy, which is I'm only looking to go long when a green doji happens. Okay, so that means every time I see a green doji, I go long. So every time a green doji, I go long. Green doji, I go long. And then I will exit when the Haken Ashi close is lower than the previous close. So we can see we have 198 trades and return to drawdown ratio is 1.6. And if I increase now to three, so you see, I can, I, I get much better return. Of course, uh, Apple is a trend following stock. So, uh, because, you know, due to the last uh, 10 years, so anything trend following on it should work. But let's see here, what if we get a red doji instead of green, because that actually makes more sense, correct? You are going long when you see a red doji for example this one and yes it does you can see that now we have a little bit more trades and much better return to drawdown ratio so this is now 10.66 so here the maximum is 2020 as you can see last three years were trend following and let's flip it and maybe that's the opposite And same thing, last three years were uh, a roaring trend following for Amazon and Apple and Google. So now you can see that we have a simple logic. There is no uh, need to do filters and anything. I'm just looking for a doji, but this time because everything is smoothed out, my doji actually, it's not like the candlestick doji, where you can see them in a trend multiple times here it, you can you will only see them at trend reversal at uh, and at consolidations and i can show you the difference so here this is the haken ashi and this is the japanese candlestick and we can see here that we have in this long trade we have this is a doji red one and here we have two consolidating this is starting in june and look at this this is starting in june so here we have two and here we have two and here we have one, two. This is also another one. And so while well, here we have one, two, three, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And actually you can consider this one too. So that's eight. So we have eight doji patterns in the same trend. And here we have only three. The Haken Ashi, because of the smoothing, then the doji will play a bigger role than in candlesticks, where there are many false positives so here the uh, the doji has let's say more weight to it and also the breakout candle where we have a big body and an upper wick also have more weight because once the trend starts and you get this big this is just a confirmation so now let's try to build a strategy using that type of body okay so here again we are doing apple and 100 shares and now I'm gonna use the body greater than green one. So now this refers to something like this bar, where the body is greater than 60% of the total range. And of course we can see it here, here, and we can see it here. So usually that's the breakout. So usually after a reversal in trend, that after a doji, you get a breakout. Now in my block here, I have a condition where this body is 60% uh, of the range plus the close is higher than the previous close. So I'm making sure it's happening uh, in, uh, in a, an uptrend. And again, my exit is the close lower than the previous close for a number of bars and it's three bars. And let's see how this one behaves. So again, it's really good. It's actually the same like the last one. So it's uh, 10, uh, almost 10 return to drawdown ratio and almost uh, about the same number of trades. 
And in SQX, of course, you cannot see it because SQX doesn't render the Hack and Ashy on the chart. So if you click here, although the calculation is done on the Hack and Ashy, but the these are actual uh, candlestick, normal candlestick charts. So uh, the only way to verify is you need now you you can see that this is also the same condition so close below close below close below where this close is lower than this that's one this close is lower than this that's two but this close yes it is a lower close but not lower than this so that's why this is not true condition so when you look at it there are three red but in reality it is uh, not true these three closes doesn't count also these one doesn't count because this close is lower that's one this close is lower that's two this is not lower so that's it it's done and then this close is lower that's one and then we are heading in green so that's why i am saying that this will keep you in the trend uh, longer it, you will not get faked out especially you're using uh, the hack and ash which is already smooth and then you use three bars in a row so then you, do, you don't get fake so you can see uh the hack because of the smoothing effect you don't get faked out that that much and also by using uh, the excellent block in sqx where uh, we can check consistently for number of bars that this condition is true then that also adds that we don't get faked out of course it works on the opposite side also that means probably we're gonna get uh, on a different instrument you will get a bigger drawdown because you're waiting for a longer period to exit now of course we have the other advantage in sqx where those blocks can be used now to data mine so once you add these uh, blocks in then it will be in the building blocks and then you can just use them to data mine for exits for entries or as filters and really that's the strength of uh, strategy quant x and data mining packages where they will throw these blocks in a ways in ways that you don't uh, think uh, of them i hope that uh, was useful to you as always i'm open to all questions you can uh, comment below send me an email or in the discord channel through the patreon link down below as always good luck with your trading good luck with your investing stay safe and i'll see you soon